Hey everyone and welcome. I am Sailor Drew. Let's hang out and play some Moonlighter. So, episode three. <laughs> uh, I did get a headpiece, so you guys missed that. I just did one really quick run in the mines. I didn't get very far, but I was able to get all of the material that I needed for this headpiece. So, that's exciting. Um, I look like a bad mamma jamma. It also looks like I need some potions. So let's go visit Eris. Let's say hi to this person. Rhinoka, what a town. I know, right? It's uh, interesting, I suppose. Sup, Eris. Oh, hi! This book. Oh, so good. Yes, what can I do for you? Potions. Alright, uh, so we need three to make a stack of five, and then I would like an extra five. Oh, you know what? Actually, let me see. Um, let me th see about enchanting something, because I've got some money to spend for sure. Um, I only have three of the doodads, though. And now I'm out of the empowering crystals, so... Just gonna do the spear, and then that's it, really. The spear is coming in handy, that's for sure. Um, the guardians that protect the second floor, and I would imagine the third floor are a bit tough and I'm not sure if the spear is right for fighting those guys so I guess we'll see uh, let's try and go right yeah I love the spears <laughs> they're awesome it just gives me a little bit of leeway you know so I don't have to worry about like being kind of right up in somebody's business Although, like, if I'm having uh, clusters of bad guys coming towards me, it's uh, not that good of an idea to rely on it a lot. Just like you guys saw right now. Alright. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Stands right in front of him, of course. No fear. Ooh. Okay, I gotta hurry, because that... Oh my gosh, a chest is... About <laughs> sunk. No! Okay. I was so close, and I lost a empowerment crystal, because I was trying to hurry. That's okay. Alright. Oh. Well. Might start investing in the potions. Can I ever look... Nope. Do... <laughs> too wide. It was worth a shot, I suppose. Uh, but the potions that Eris sells, thinking about maybe starting to get some of those. Because it would be nice to kind of just run to the second level. At this point in time, with the gear that I have and everything, I don't have a way of porting myself to like any further into the dungeon so this is another reason why it's a really good thing that there are only three levels to each dungeon oh ho 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 excellent okay so if you see an open chest like this it's awesome for reasons <laughs> basically it will Port your items home to your chests at home. So it's a good idea to kind of do a, a run through the rest of the dungeon if you haven't already done so. To gather all of the things that you can to send back home. Ooh, and there's a body. Oh, a spear. Like, of course I get a spear. I already bought one. <laughs> Awesome. Right, break that. Ooh, more sparkles. 
Okay, I wonder what's down here. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so, I might go explore over here first, then go into the spring. And I'm gonna try and get a level three or a tier three chest out of that guy there that we saw. So this is, it's nice because it's, um, you know, the further you go, I keep saying this because I don't know, just to <laughs> reiterate my point, I guess. But the further you go into the dungeons, uh, it makes your return visits more lucrative. So, all right, let's grab that guy out of there and stack those. Oh, whale. Oh, see, I should probably be fighting with my short sword because it's got a bigger kind of range and right in front of my face. Take care. Oops. Uh, take care of these guys. Oops. All right. Um. All right. Spring. First stop. Ah, so nice. then down into the depths of that room. And I really hope I do well, but I guess we'll see. The extra gear is definitely going to help with my survival rate. Oh, dang, man. In the face. Yeah, the same idea I did was attacking immediately. Oh, shoot. It's a little, little too late. Oh, ah! Unnecessary risks. <laughs> like, the spear keeps them far enough away from me where I don't have to worry about them, so. Luke, use the spear, Luke! Alright, what's coming out next? So many slimes. Ooh, ah! Oh, shoot, he got me. Ah! <laughs> oh no, he got me again. Those slimes, man, they have quite a range. Like, trying to take care of the slimes, but also trying to lure the guy over to a wall. Thank you! Alright. Oh yeah, I can do a tier three, no problem. Might be super cocky, but I guess we'll see. Attack, attack, attack! Okay, yeah, yeah, come here, dude. Oh no! Freaking slimes, man! <laughs> so many rock dudes. Ooh! Oh shoot. Yeah, yeah, come on down here, dude. Oh, shoot, man. He, uh, rolled far. Oh. Nice. Okay. Um, it was sloppy, but I got the job done. <laughs> um, and you know what? I say let's go one more. Why not, right? Oh yeah, super easy. And the kind of pinkish purple chest, that is the top tier. So that's as high as we can go, so the pillar has broken, which is nice. So 
So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what we got. Goodness. <laughs> um, all right, so this curse sends the item home immediately. So since I can't stack the sphere, let's send it home. All of the other curses, what they do is they... Um, so it says artifact in direction shown becomes this artifact upon returning to town. So if I put this next to like these teeth stone, which aren't worth a lot, and I go to town, they will become the white stone instead, which is worth a lot more money. So let's see here. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to sell pretty much everything that's of low quality or I already have a lot of at home because there's so much stuff floating around in the room here that I want to pick up and sell because at least I'll get a little something something off of them. And as I progress further into the dungeon, I should be able to find some other items that I can sacrifice in lieu of the more expensive counterparts for them to be cursed. Uh, so let's get rid of the foundry rests. Uh, let's get rid of these guys and that. I'm just kind of getting rid of the cursed stuff since they don't stack. <laughs> uh, Alright. So, I mean, oh, you know what? I could have... Well, I don't know if the chest would have been there still, actually. Because um, I was going to say, I could have, like, ran back over here and put stuff home. But I'm continuing on to hopefully at least level 3. So... Yeah... Definitely get rid of all, like, kind of the curse stuff that I can't really do anything about at this point in time. I'm going to keep all the stuff that will curse and replace other items. Although, except for maybe these, because I don't... I'll just keep the expensive ones. Alright. And there it goes. Straight into my chest at home. Excellent. Alright, now on to the boss man. And it looks like I've used all of the regeneration power up. So I've kind of noticed that the spring, once it's stopped regenerating me, it gets the water gets dark. Because normally it's kind of like glowing. Oh, dang. Trying to avoid that tiny little slime. And I end up just rolling off the edge instead. Because that makes sense. Alright. So, oh, there was another pot in there. I just saw it as I walked out. Ooh. Oh, dang. Oh. Awesome. Okay, yeah, that wasn't so bad. Not too shabby. So since I had a pretty good run on that level, I might just, uh, once I find the stream, or the, the hot spring in this uh, level, I might just kind of go on and see if I can't get to the third level. Excellent. So I want to make a point of breaking all the pots from now on. Because they're more likely to hold stuff. Ooh, there's a body. <laughs> like, what a weird thing to be excited about, but they always have good stuff on them. Awesome. Alright. So what's in here? Alright, so 
So I've got two items that will remove curses. So I need to carefully place them in my inventory so I don't accidentally remove a curse of something that isn't really that much of an inconvenience. Oh gosh. Ooh! Like, kind of hurting for health. Oh, oh, thank God there's something down here. <laughs> it just totally rolled off. I didn't see the sparkle. I was like, well, I did the thing again. Uh oh, I was trying to like, <laughs> run out. It's like, no, I don't want to be in here. It's like an awkward space. And there's a lot of dudes on after me. Oh, Ooh. oh, dang it. I was trying to charge attack him, but uh, yeah, I, I forgot they can't move while you're charging. Dude, give me my thing. Ooh, power crystal? Yes, please. Alright. So, that'll free up some inventory space. Although it makes me nervous. Ooh, there's a body over here. Ooh, and sparkles. Oh my gosh. Ouch. There we go. Okay, I was like, how am I going to get him over here? It worked out. Alright, so let's jump down here and see what adventure awaits us. Ooh, book. Um, this is a bit of a gamble. So let me prepare my inventory just in case I'm going to leave. I have to leave. Um, so these books sometimes have kind of guardian monsters that show up once you grab the um, the book and sometimes they don't oh no <laughs> software error no oh my god okay that was such a good run and I can't believe the game just crashed Oh no. I can't believe that just happened. So, <laughs> I'm like, that run was amazing and now I'm gonna have to start all over again and it's not gonna be the same. So continue. Maybe it'll, like, pick up where I left off. Like, the book was cursed! Come on, baby. Like, fingers crossed. Oh, God. Oh, no! Um, I have all my potions and everything on me still. Uh... Dag nabbit. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to do a run, and I'll see you guys uh, kind of where we left off, hopefully, like somewhere middle of the second level. So that was just a very unfortunate thing. Uh, sometimes the game, I mean, it very rarely crashes, uh, so... I'm going to have to, like, submit a report or something. Like, dude. <laughs> uh, a lot of people were kind of complaining about the game before it was full release. Uh, having uh, a number of bugs. But after a while. Um, or, um, it's, it's gotten a lot better. So, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright. So, I've been running around... All right, so I've been running around and I've been taking so much time because I was on the phone with uh, my husband and I was kind of running around in circles that I didn't realize how long I had been in here. And this is what happens if you're in a room for too long or in uh, the dungeon for too long. Uh, this guy shows up and he starts destroying like all the goodies on the ground uh, and he's a one hit kill and there's nothing you can do. <laughs> like, so, oh my God, what? Oh my god, no, 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 he comes in here too. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna be safe. No, this is the worst idea ever. 
Oh my god. 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 Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. So I need to get out of here. I need to go. I need to go. I can't be here. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. All right. Uh, run, 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 run. Oh, thank god. Okay. Oh, the sweat. I'm sweating so much. <laughs> Oh, I didn't rearrange my inventory to um, have things duplicate because I just assumed I would have been okay. Um, good to know. <laughs> All right, let's go to town. That was unfortunate. Uh, that was very, very scary. I'm just, I'm seriously, I'm like, the anxiety is real. Uh <laughs> It was so close to being, uh, going to the third level, though. Just so, so close. Alright, so let me put up all the stuff that I have that has the asterisk. Because I don't want to accidentally sell any of that stuff. Uh. Okay, <laughs> I guess we're going to sell everything else. Although, I think I need the rune tools. Like... I don't know, I feel like I saw their silhouette before I discovered them in something. So, I don't need them there. Not there. Ooh, I definitely have the money for this. How did I get so much money, actually? Because I started over. Oh, because I've been selling things in the dungeon. Duh, okay. I was like, I don't understand. Oh my god, that's like... I felt like really guilty for a second. I was like, oh my god, I'm exploiting some sort of glitch. This is not good. Um, duh. Okay, so I need those little screwdriver looking things. Oh my god, and those whetstones. See, I've been getting rid of all of the whetstones, and I should not have been doing that. Uh, dang. Yeah, I need a lot of them, don't I? So yeah, it doesn't look like I need them. Need their rune tool things. So next run, I need to remember to keep all the whetstones. All right. So let's open up the shop first and then I'll run over here and place stuff. Rune tools, I don't know how much they're worth yet. Golem chisel. So, I don't know. Let's try like maybe 600. And see how they react to it. I can't wait to get a bigger shop. I might actually buy the upgrade. I don't know. It depends on how much money I make today. Because things will go so much faster if I can... Have more... Um... Oh, that was too good of a deal. Okay, and the pages were a little bit too high. Alright. So, I don't know. Let's try 800 maybe. Because as we get higher, the gaps in prices between items get higher. Uh, but yeah, having more inventory space will be a good thing, for sure. Thank you, sir. Come again. Ooh, these are worth... Or the demand is a little high on these. So let's increase the price by 20. Thank you, ma'am. Enjoy. Yeah, I, I'm kind of rolling in the dough right now. This is nice. Um, now these petals and everything, I sold for way too low last time. So, let me try 60. Thank you, sir. Come again. Alright. Um... 
Um, so maybe 30? Guess we'll see. Yeah, it'll be nice to also get decorations so that way I can speed people up. Be like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Like, like I have adventuring to go to. Oh, dang. Still too good of a price. Huh. Ooh, these are also too good of a price. Okay, and I can actually change it before he picks it up. So let me do that really quick. <laughs> Um, these are probably too good of a price still. All right. So he still bought them. I'm like, but... Let me see. Um, oh, okay. It's the Golem Dungeon. Never mind. I was looking at the wrong thing. Um... Interesting. He bought it for a thousand, but it wasn't logged at a thousand. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> like, I kind of broke it, I think. Uh, Alright, so these are higher than the petals. So, I don't know. Let's just do 400. <laughs> just throwing out numbers. Ooh, in there. Oh, never mind. It's the... The lenses that are in high demand. Ooh, still too good. Okay, but those were a good price. So that gives me more information. Let's go ahead and close the shop. And take a look and see how well we did. Over 9,000. That's not bad at all. Uh, it looks so awesome with my gear. I'm ready to rumble or something. <laughs> um, all right, so shop upgrades. Eight thousand. And how much is the bed? Four thousand. Okay. Yeah, let's do both of those actually. Oh look, my like little egg eggs hatched into like little mini monsters. Interesting. I still don't know what that pit is for, or the pen is for. That's what you call a good job. Huh? It doesn't seem like a big change? Well, beauty comes from within. <laughs> oh, fancy. Okay, so I can now start placing decorations. So it's just kind of indicating that the decoration, like that pot, will encourage people to tip me. Um, ooh, we've also unlocked new types of customers. So item prices are not stored in the notebook when their popularity is not neutral or the valuation comes from wealthy customers. Basically the way that it <laughs> it's written really weird is basically saying that if somebody buys an item like if a regular customer buys an item for a higher price than they normally would it's not going to be logged in my notebook because it only logs like the base prices for each reaction so same thing with the because now we're going to get wealthy customers coming in <laughs> which is what the top hat and mustache are for and um, and if they buy something at a high cost then it's also not going to be locked because again it's not the actual true price of the item so fancy oh and look at this nice <laughs> i love it okay cool so yeah that's uh definitely gonna help uh, i wonder if there's anything over here that i can purge yet okay so it looks like i can get rid of all of these because i don't need them anymore uh, wow, a lot of stuff. It's a good thing that I expanded the shop. Oh, I got another chest too, which is good. So let's see how much of this I can put out. And I might end up increasing the price on some of them if I start to get more wealthy customers in here on the reg. Alright, and I can sell all of these, so let's put them in a different chest. Uh, but guys, that's going to be it for this episode. It was a bit strange. 
between the bug and then the monster with the mini boss protecting the third level. Uh, it was a bit exciting. I hope you guys were thrilled. Uh, if you were, in any <laughs> case, hit the like button as it always lets me know that you guys want to see more content from me. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of the game so far. And if you're excited to find out um, what the mystery is behind these dungeons as much as I am. And until next time, take care and I will see you in episode four.